Udo, the Japanese martial arts, are the spirit of the Japanese people. Several Japanese Budo are grounded in history and tradition that extend back more than a thousand years. Waza, martial techniques and spiritual cultivation regimens closely guarded as family secrets have been handed down from father to son and from son to grandson, generation after generation to the present day. It is this history and tradition that is the quintessence of Budo. The Japanese martial arts are not merely techniques for prevailing in combat against an adversary. The continuation of ascetic practices that unify spirit and body gives rise to a certain state of mind, and it is the compilation of these practices that has always decided the outcome of contests. Broadly divided, Japanese Budo fall into two categories, Taijutsu, martial arts for unarmed combat, and Bukijutsu, martial arts for armed combat. Some Taijutsu are Sumo, Jujutsu, Suijutsu, Karate Do, Aikido, and Shorinji Kenpo. Bukijutsu that have been handed down over the centuries are Kenjutsu, Iai, Kyujutsu, Sojutsu, Naginata, Kusarigama, and Hojutsu. Up to the time the classical martial arts were developed, the only consideration in swordsmanship was how to defeat the enemy using physical energy or muscular strength, or how to elude the enemy's blade. That is to say, wielding the sword primarily involved chopping, thrusting, slashing, or pushing. It is recorded in the Nihon Shoki, an ancient chronicle of Japanese myths, traditions, and historical events, that during the 5th century AD, a sumo bout took place between Nomi no Sukune and Taima no Kehaya. Boasting a proud history of a thousand years, sumo is the oldest of the taijutsu. Regarded as Japan's national sport, sumo is a test of strength between two contestants in which the techniques and formalities are rigidly prescribed. It is said the name sumo was coined during the 6th century when gagaku's ceremonial music and dance was introduced to Japan. The performance of gagaku involved the wearing of costumes and the phrase suhadaka de mao, expressing the practice of dancing naked, evolved into the present-day term sumo. During the Heian period in the 10th and 11th centuries, sumo tournaments were held in the presence of the emperor. Toward the end of the Muromachi period, impromptu sumo events known as suji sumo were performed to the amusement and applause of common folk. During the Edo period, the competitive aspect of sumo was retained. In 1624, the first Yokozuna initiation ceremony was held in the precincts of the Edo Fukagawa Hachiman Shrine. It was during this era that the practice of holding ceremonial sumo bouts on the grounds of Shinto shrines on festival days took root. It was also at this time that the kasatsu technique came to be incorporated into jujutsu. These are monuments erected in honor of the success of Yokozuna. The 
The source of Taijutsu, Jujutsu, and Yawara is the Take no Uchi Ryu Koshi no Mawari technique handed down in Okayama Prefecture. This is a technique for making use of an adversary's attack to enable counterattack and involves waza for thrusting, striking, punching, kicking, throwing, grappling, choking, and twisting vital points. Classical jujitsu requires using the entire body, adhering to the kata, and following the steps of the kata. The term yawara refers to suppleness similar to that of a tree bud. Waza that take advantage of a supple body to defend and counterattack are yawara. Prior to the development of judo, yawara was preserved among the various Han, feudal clans, in the form of jujitsu and taijutsu, and a number of schools have been handed down and continue to the present day. These schools have been closely guarded as otome ryu, schools for which transmission of esoteric knowledge and techniques to someone outside the Han was prohibited. Although Kenjutsu and Naginata were the mainstream Bukijutsu, a broken spearhead became the source of inspiration for the development of Bojutsu and Jojutsu. Until Tanigashima muskets were introduced from Portugal, Kyujutsu was taught as part of the samurai's profession to add an airborne weapon to the warrior's arsenal. Even today, Yabusame is practiced as a time-honored ceremony. Also still practiced today is archery involving long-distance targets. Target distance is set at 60 meters in imitation of the length of Sanju San Gendo Temple Hall in Kyoto. Kenjutsu had its beginnings in the Katori and Kashima areas. Groups that followed the teachings of the old schools endured in various locations, practicing and cultivating the ancient skills that have been passed down across the generations as traditional waza. Kengi all began as techniques for cutting down an opponent. Failing to cut one's opponent was certain to result in one's own death. Martial techniques developed for the purpose of surviving mortal combat were recorded for posterity in Densho, written records of martial arts, and the kata have been preserved. Although imitating the kata is easy enough, discovering the essential spirit requires great effort and devotion. The ancient expression, Kenzen Ichinyo, did not simply mean a samurai's maintenance of presence of mind. It referred to facing the enemy in a spirit of disinterest in self and the mastery of waza by which the samurai would under no circumstances suffer defeat at the hands of his foe. The close of the Edo era brought the decline of Japanese Budo. The Meiji and Taisho eras, a period of some 50 years, came and went before the Showa era brought signs of a revival of the martial arts. However, Japan's defeat in the Second World War brought a prohibition against all forms of Bujutsu and Budo. After a 10-year period of waiting, the efforts of far-sighted people brought about a gradual revival of the martial arts. Jujutsu was reborn as Judo, and Kenjutsu became Kendo. Even though the form of these martial arts was to change, the substance would be handed down unaltered to the present day. The true meaning of the kata remains profound in every respect. Modern martial arts, developed around the time of the Meiji Restoration, would create the basic philosophy underpinning contemporary martial arts. In Kyudo, this entails concentrating every nerve on the Shin Zen Bi, the ultimate objective for each arrow.
In Kendo, the old traditions have been preserved and the Nippon Kendo Gata established. Events such as the All Japan Kendo Championship and the All Japan East vs. West Kendo Championship are held. Training in full paraphernalia is quite interesting, and at the same time young Kendo practitioners come to know the rigors of self-discipline as they experience the elation of victory and the bitter taste of defeat. Women have made great strides in kendo, as in the other martial arts, coming to master dazzling techniques to rival those of men. Bouts between women are contested with all the ferocity displayed by the men. What could be the source of such earnestness? Naginata, one must attack with the flat of the blade, generally referred to as the mono uchi, to score a victory. The competitors look one another in the eye and drive in to deliver a blow. Where will the opponent strike? The outcome is decided by an instantaneous decision based on a reading of the opponent's intention, whether to take the initiative or to go on the defensive. Repetition of Naginata training develops a person who has attained harmony between mind and body. Naginata aims to produce people who observe tradition, obey rules, value courtesy and honor, and are capable of performing service to society. Although Naginata has been regarded as a martial art exclusive to women, in fact, it has been handed down as a man's skill from as far back as the time of Musashipo Benkei. Today, foreign martial artists are demonstrating great interest in this budo. Jukendo is a martial art that originated in 1880 when Japanese sojutsu techniques were incorporated into Western-style bayonet drills learned from the French. Over the years, Jukendo techniques centering on thrusting and cutting have been perfected. Jukendo is highly rated for promoting solid posture and the precision of its techniques. Often the difference between victory and defeat is instantaneous judgment and athletic ability. In Jukendo, a watchful, prudent mode of fighting is required. This too is a distinctively Japanese martial art.
Today, Ju Kendo is treated as a kind of national budo. National meets in which both youths and adults participate are held in locations throughout Japan. During the Meiji era, Judo was popularized by Jigoro Kano. Today it is a widely known international sport and many skilled foreign competitors have come on the scene. Grand Master Kano encouraged standing techniques he particularly stressed the execution of clean throws. He made decisive, incontestable outcomes the basis of Kodokan Judo. It is said that the master permitted students to practice groundwork techniques only once they had thoroughly mastered standing techniques. The Sumio Toshiwaza of Kyuzo Mifune, a great judo master of the Showa era, was called Kuki Nage. Even today, the story of the celebrated waza is passed down among the master's successors. Having its roots in Okinawa, Karate-do has eight basic forms specified based on mutual consultation among several schools. The names of these techniques are Basai, Seien-chin, Kanku, Jion, Chinto, Seishan, Seipai, and Saifa. Karate is divided into kumite and kata. Men and women practitioners alike endure Spartan training. The quality of the discipline of the youths who practice karate is equal to that for other budo. These young learners are a study in seriousness as they study the kata of the senior students. This is because they are well aware that the exemplary karateka possess highly desirable techniques. That kata is relentless, intense, beautiful. The fruits of daily training are evident in that waza. in memory of Morihei Ueshiba, founder of the Aikido Hombu Dojo in Tokyo. Aikido sets great store by love and manners. Leadership of Aikido has been succeeded by the founder's son, 
Kishomaru Ueshiba and grandson and current doshu Moriteru Ueshiba, who have passed down the great master's techniques to the present time. Aikido is based on the classical Japanese bujutsu and practiced as a path to the discipline of mind and body. Practitioners engage in training day in and day out in a spirit of exchange of techniques and respect for one's opponent that goes beyond age, nationality, or gender. Doshu Moriteru Ueshiba had this to say about the genealogy and bloodlines of the martial arts. I think this is the culture of Japan. The Japanese people have compiled a long history of placing importance on blood as a tradition. Although this is something that has long been accepted by the Japanese, when it is explained it is understood by people from overseas as well and understood by those who are interested in and want to do Aikido. The number of winning maneuvers in sumo has increased over time reaching 83 in 2001. In November 2001, competitors from more than 20 countries participated in the 10th World Sumo Tournament held in Hirosaki, Aomori Prefecture. Competitors were divided into weight classes, a lightweight division for wrestlers under 80 kilograms, a middleweight division for those under 115 kilograms, in a heavyweight division for those 115 kilograms and over. <laughs> Women's sumo is called new sumo. The lightweight division is for wrestlers under 65 kilograms. The middleweight division is for those under 80 kilograms. And the heavyweight division is for those 80 kilograms and over. Women from 17 countries participated, and the fierce competition rivaled that of the men. Although the contestants exhibited a limited repertoire of techniques, boldly doing battle in the doyo, they demonstrated a sense of mission in representing their countries. Some contestants displayed sheer heroism. Clearly, the women wrestlers share the men's dream of participating in the Olympics. Tadotsu in Kagawa Prefecture is where the Shikoku Railway originates. In 1947, Shorinji Kempo was founded here by Doshin So. The Ching Kong Gyo meditation session has begun. A dialogue with the self will continue for some time. The expression Kenzen Ichinyo refers to a method of ascetic training from Zen Buddhism that aims for cultivation of the mind along with physical training. A teaching license is awarded by Shike Sol Doshin II. The pain of daily training is at long last rewarded.
The meaning of the term Riki Ai Funi, a teaching of founder Sol Doshin, is that justice without strength is powerless and strength without justice is violence. Love is supported by strength and strength is possible because of love. The techniques of Shorinji Kempo are not for engaging in combat with opponents. Their sole purpose is self-defense. In principle, training is conducted in pairs with the partners respecting one another's techniques and striving for mutual improvement. classical martial arts, a time when combatants put their very lives at risk, has come to an end. Nevertheless, the struggle to train the mind and body and to elevate one's own nature remains an objective common to all the martial arts. Japanese Budo are supported by long history and tradition, and their quintessence has been handed down to the present day. How are we to preserve the techniques and spirit that form the basis of Budo and pass them on to the next generation? The Budo specialists who live in this age of endemic change are engaged in a profound search for the answer to this dilemma. More important than the outcome of the next contest, does the martial artist's true spirit imbue the waza? The degree to which the spirit of the forerunners who perfected the techniques has been conveyed is the starting point of Japanese Budo. Victory or defeat in the martial arts is decided in accordance with the rules. To attain victory, martial artists engage in training day after day. Nevertheless, let us hope that these martial artists are truly valiant warriors who, when the bout is finished, and the outcome decided, admire one another's valorous struggle and place a higher value on the effort than on the results. The Japanese martial arts have spread far and wide and today flourish the world over. A temple dedicated to valiant warriors the Nippon Budokan was constructed in 1964 in Kitanomaru Park on the site of the former Imperial Palace. Since that time, martial arts supporters have redoubled their efforts to ensure the preservation and development of Japanese Budo.